this is this is one that <laughs> this is one that really hurt to watch. <laughs> This was this is this was actually painful. So just stick with me, yeah. okay? Because I'm gonna. This is this is the falling off the ladder of <laughs> of sales stories. Oh yeah, I I watched a guy pitch a pyramid scheme at a funeral. Oh, this is delicious. <laughs> tell me everything. Do not spare a single detail. So hopefully I tell it all in order because this is also years ago. I don't even care if you tell an order. I just want all of it. I want all the bad from this. So I was at this funeral and this... uh, (laughs) Are you you willing to say whose funeral... Was it like a close family member? No, no, it was not a close family member. I was actually just there for moral support because it wasn't my relative. (laughs) I was just there to sell something else. (laughs) (laughs) I was out there selling hope. You know how it is. Yeah. No, so basically, hey, all, I saw these people in suits. I was just like, now these people got money. All right, yeah. I'm gonna follow them. See where they're going. Look, if you can afford a suit, you could afford. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. where are we going? Are we going to a club or something? Oh, never mind. So uh, basically, I was there for a friend um, because his uncle had passed away. Right? Okay. Yeah. And so the person selling though actually was a family member. So. I was just there, you know, for my friend just to be nice and everything. And this guy, so we're we're, we're at the cemetery. Oh, it's at the cemetery? I thought, in my head, I was picturing a funeral home. No, but this is, he waited. He waited. He waited until he would have a captive audience, you know? He wasn't gonna do. He wasn't gonna inter, interrupt the pastor and be rude. You know, he wanted to go ahead and wait no, until he said he's, he's gonna do it when the dirt's getting thrown on the casket. Is when he's gonna choose his moment. Right after, you know, right after. <laughs> so this dude. <laughs> oh man! This dude is standing there, and there's like a somber moment where everyone's silent. And his his son says, uh, yeah, I'm just really going to miss him. And then I'm standing there with my friend and everything. And then this guy, who I assume must be a cousin or something, because it didn't it didn't seem like anyone was excited you'd, that he was there. Like I like, would hope you don't want it to be the deceased brother. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. <laughs> and so so the, he goes, yeah. I just wish he could have been all he could be. And already people are like, wow, that was a little like, I didn't know you had a problem with him or something, right? Yeah. And then, uh, and then, then, you know, people are starting to walk away because the service is over. So now people are walking back to their cars and stuff and we're all going to meet back mm-hmm. up at this person's house for the, mm-hmm. you know, post funeral. Everyone eats and sits and talks. And, yeah. and he's like, yeah. And pitches stuff. And pitches stuff. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, I tried to get him in on a really big opportunity before he went. And, <laughs> Going. And you know, it just uh, I mean, I guess it's I guess it's better this way because at least he won't know what he missed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and at this point, this is someone who is either a full blow monster or really believes in their pyramid scheme. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm glad he's dead, so he can't see the riches I'm gonna make. And so, so then I don't know who this other person is, but an older person goes, "I'm sorry," <laughs> because that's the only that's a reasonable response in this situation. And so he's like, "I'm sorry, what the hell are you talking about?" <laughs> And then this dude in full pitch mode goes, opportunity. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Shit, I'm in. What are you selling? 
And so, man, and so the so, confidence of that. Oh my God. So then the person who said, I'm sorry, what the hell are you talking about? Grabs him by the back of the neck. <laughs> and I don't know what he said, but he whispered something harrowing into his ear. <laughs> And the dude doesn't say another word. Everyone just walks back to their cars and then we, we get in the car and and drive off to the house, right? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and so Ooh. Ooh. Uh, it, yeah, it <laughs> so then we get to the house and everyone's piling out of their cars and, and you know, um, some people are staying outside the house and smoking and then some people are inside the house and people are getting the food heated and stuff. And so everyone's just sort of mm-hmm. sitting about talking about the person who passed away, which once again, I don't know this person that well. I'm just there for my friend. Right. Mm-hmm. And then the guy, um, the guy walks in the, the pitch guy walks <laughs> in looking like looking around like his eyes are sort of darting around and everything like clearly looking for whoever grabbed him by the back of the neck right right yeah and looking for the man who clearly said i will kill you yeah yeah (laughs) and (laughs) and then uh when he sees that the coast is clear he walks up to this older woman and is like you know it, it, it it it's times like these that that remind you to just you know Take your chances where you can get them. Oh no! You know you really, you really get, you really just gotta shoot for the stars because if if you even if you miss, you'll land amongst the clouds. You know, and I'm just happy that you know seeing everything that went down today. I'm I'm just happy that I'm investing my money and my life into opportunity. And so so I'm just like, wow, when is this guy going to say whatever the cuz it cuz it's yeah. all platitudes, man. It's all like mm-hmm. just consistent like trying right. to rope people in, but he's clearly not good at it. Yeah. And uh and so clearly he got wrapped into it and no one had said what they were selling to him. Yeah, yeah. So now he's just out there trying to sell product yeah. that exists, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. And so then um <laughs> So then he he tells her he's like, I'm a part of something special, and I really want you to be in on it with me, you know, uh, just for for just a. Will you marry me? <laughs> right? You you would think because he's because he's really ramping up, and it's like all ask and no setup, like like it's a bunch right, of right, platitudes, yeah. and then he just goes for it. Mm-hmm. And so then um, he you know he's like, I really want you to be. And not with me. And then this woman goes, okay, what is it? And and he's like, it's, it's, it's the future. All right. It like still won't say what it is. And so he's oh like, my God, so, this is so good. And so he's like, it, it, it's the future. And I mean, would you rather $400 right now or $40,000 a year from now? And then she goes, are you in a cult? <laughs> she completely skipped Pyramid Scheme. I was like, you in a cult? What, 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 you, what you talking about? That's great. <laughs> and so you see his face just drop and then he just moves right. on to the next part. Like he like this right. is how bad he is at selling is he doesn't even like have a dismount. Like he like he literally mm-hmm. just stops talking to her and walks over to another person. Yeah. So then I don't see him for a good like, you know. 30 minutes or an hour or something like I'm just mingling with my friend and meeting one other person. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just talking and stuff. And then I'm actually about to leave when, uh, he, he like resurfaces, I guess he was working the back of the house. Like we stayed Mm -hmm. in the general like living room area and stuff. And, and then some people from outside start coming inside. And so I guess he starts trying to work them too. And, uh, (laughs) Goes up to this very old man who is clearly like, is it next? Yeah, like, (laughs) 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 because you know how they always. 
you know they always bring there's at least one person at the funeral that's way older than the person that passed away. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And so yeah. <laughs> they're looking at the casket. You're like, oh, that's the Highlander there. Okay. <laughs> there can be only one. They're looking at that casket different. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and so so he starts talking to this this really, really old man who's honestly not even not even like registering. Like I'm not even you, you know, you know, sometimes when people are especially like in their eighties and nineties, they get a little bit vacant. You know, right? And so he's giving this dude the whole spiel, and this guy's not interrupting him or anything or looking at him quizzically. So he's re- he thinks he's mm-hmm. on a roll with this older dude, right? Who is mm-hmm. clearly somebody's grandpa. Yeah, or just can't hear him at all. Like the old guy is just <laughs> like his hearing's gone. <laughs> just um. <laughs> so then, then he he gives him like a long, you know classic pyramid scheme speech about like be part of my uh i i, I think he called them opportunity clu- my movement my yeah i think he called them clusters he's like if you're in my cluster uh you know i my kickback is only five percent a lot of people in their kickback if they you're have in, 10 if you're in my glory triangle <laughs> you <laughs> and so then then the guy if you're in my success octagon <laughs> You and I can make so much money a year. It can't be a pyramid because it's an octagon. <laughs> exactly. So, but like one of the points is a little higher than the others. <laughs> it's also a little wider at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> so then he finishes his whole little spiel, and this old man with his old voice goes, "If you don't get out of here with that bullshit." <laughs> And almost right after this old man says, if you don't get out of here, the guy from before, the guy from like the uh. cemetery is like screams across, like across the, the room screams. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? And then walks up to that dude, grabs him in the, in the back of the neck again, and just walks out with him to the backyard where I am assuming that he beat the hell out of him. <laughs> Where he is now buried to this day. <laughs> wow. Right? That, I mean, here's the thing. I, this man is a, a just a social terrorist <laughs> with, 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 with what he has done. I do, though, weirdly admire the confidence to show up to a funeral to... I don't even know if he's close to him or not, but to show up to a funeral and be like, this is where I'm going to make my nut, man. This is where I'm really going <laughs> to... This is where I'm going to make a killing. <laughs> there, I, I weirdly admire that horribly misguided confidence. I mean, they already parted with their cousin. What's parting with a little bit of money? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe everyone here's got some inheritance now that they can <laughs> they can throw my way. Come on, you know Willie left you something. <laughs> yeah. He left you this, but what I'm giving you is an opportunity. Oh. That's fucking amazing. That's such a good story. I mean That's so good. As Ludacris says, Jesus saves and I withdraw. 